Baptism, Part 4, The Topical Bible Study on Baptism Dear Friend Today, it's your turn to study baptism. This email contains every verse on the topic. You can decide for yourself what you believe about baptism. In fact, here are all the verses in today's topical Bible study on baptism without the headlines. The Holy Bible is so clear on this topic that anyone can see the truth of it and understand it without one word of commentary from me or anyone else influencing what you ought to believe about it. Be baptized every one of you, baptism. Hey, please take this topical Bible study seriously. Baptism is a core belief that is essential to salvation. Whether or not you get baptized matters. Check out this screenshot of just one example. Mike Winger, a very popular and well-liked YouTuber with nearly half a million followers, is in a four-hour debate taking the position against baptism being necessary for salvation. Mike Winger is an excellent speaker who is well-liked by virtually everyone. He comes across as super nice, and you can pick up on that right away by watching just a few moments of any of his videos. He is very convincing. That's why I'm using this debate as an example to help prepare you for the real world. It is highly deceptive. Let's say you've been a loyal follower of Mike Winger's channel for years, watching hundreds of his videos and believing everything he teaches because his nickname is Bible Thinker, and his motto is Helping You Think Biblically. Then you come across this debate video, and after watching it, you trust Mike Winger so much that you decide not to get baptized. At some point, you will pass away, and the next thing you are aware of is Judgment Day, standing before Jesus Christ. Jesus asks a few questions, and one of those questions is, were you baptized? You reply, no. Jesus asked, didn't I command my apostles to go into all the world teaching and baptizing? Didn't I warn that everyone who hears my words and refuses to follow them is like a man built on sand and will be destroyed? Didn't I promise that all who believe and are baptized will be saved, and all who don't believe will be condemned? Didn't I also warn that unless you are born of water and the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God? An angel quotes each verse from the Holy Bible that Jesus referenced and says, Yes, Jesus, you said all of those things. Jesus continues by saying, Didn't I warn that the words I spoke will judge you on the last day? The angels again quote that verse from the Holy Bible that Jesus referenced and says, Yes, Jesus, you said that very clearly. Then Jesus turns to you and asks, Why didn't you believe in me? I watched a debate on YouTube in which Mike Winger said I didn't need to get baptized, you explain. He was really nice and very convincing. You believed a man more than you believed me, Jesus continues. Take him away and cast him into the lake of fire, where there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Dear friend, don't let Mike Winger or anyone else convince you not to get baptized. Take the time to study today's topic by yourself. Don't be swayed by eloquent speeches and the kind tones of people like Mike Winger, which may deceive you into believing a lie and prevent you from obeying the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've shared all of this with Mike Winger. A lifetime of good teaching can be ruined by just a small amount of false doctrine that contradicts Jesus Christ. That's all it takes to make someone a false prophet. Millions of people watch Mike's videos, and if he has led any of them to disobey Christ, he will be held accountable for that on Judgment Day. Jesus said that if you lead one of his followers astray, it's better for you to have a heavy stone tied around your neck and be thrown into the sea. Ezekiel warned that if a false prophet's words cause someone to be lost, that person's blood is on their hands. This is very serious and not something to take lightly. I've shared all of this so that you can see the real world for what it is. It's full of likable people like Mike Winger who have a lot of good teachings, but just a few beliefs can lead someone away from eternal life. See the attached topical Bible study on baptism. Sincerely, David Michael Curtis